हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग येवला टुडे विल स्टडी एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोन दॅट इज अनलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर सो वी हॅव टू कन्वर्ट नाव अनलॉग सिग्नल्स इन टू डिजिटल फॉर्म सो दिस इज दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वील स्टडी नाव सो वॉट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट टू स्टडी द एट बीट अनलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर सो वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी एट बीट अनलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर सो डिजिटल वर्ड हॅज मेनी बीट्स एट फोर सिक्स्टीन सो इन दिस केस वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी एट बीट अनलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर सो वॉट इज आउटकम ऑफ हिस एक्सपेरिमेंट स्टुडंट मस्ट बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन कन्वर्जन प्रोसेस ऑफ एट बीट अनलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्जन सो स्टुडंट मस्ट बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन कन्वर्जन प्रोसेस ऑफ एट बीट अनलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्जन सो वॉट इज अनलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्जन सो अनलॉग सिग्नल वेरीज समथिंग लाईक दिस सो आय हॅव शोन हिअर अनलॉग सिग्नल वेरीज लाईक दिस सो इट मे हॅव डिफरंट वॅल्यूज सपोज हिअर इट इज फायू वोल्ड्स हिअर मायनस फायू अगेन प्लस फायू ओके हिअर मायनस फायू ओके इन बिट्वीन दॅम झिरो सो लाईक दिस अनलॉग सिग्नल हॅज ॲम्प्लिट्यूड अँड इट वेरीज कंटिन्युअसली विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टाईम सो नाव दिस सिग्नल वे वी शूड कन्वर्ट इन टू डिजिटल फॉर्म सो डिजिटल फॉर्म मीन्स वॉट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बायनरी नंबर्स सपोज इनपुट इज फायू वोल्ड्स दॅन वी शूड गेट आउटपुट एज समथिंग लाईक दिस ओके इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बायनरी वर्ड्स झिरो अँड वन सो लाईक दिस अनलॉग सिग्नल इज कन्वर्ट इन टू डिजिटल फॉर्म अनलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर ओके सो दिस प्रोसेस वी हॅव टू अंडरस्टँड विथ द हेल्प ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट सो प्रोसिजर वॉट इज द प्रोसिजर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कनेक्ट द मेन कॉर्ड टू टू थर्टी वोल्ड्स अँड फिफ्टी हर्ट्स ए सी सप्लाय ओके दॅन स्विच ऑन द ट्रेनर दॅन वी हॅव टू स्विच ऑन द ट्रेनर अँड सी दॅट सप्लाय इंडिकेटर गोज ऑन अँड वी हॅव टू सी दॅट सप्लाय इंडिकेटर गोज ऑन नाव सेकंड स्टेप सिलेक्ट मॅक्झिमम वी इनपुट ॲज प्लस फायू वोल्ड युजिंग पॅच कॉर्ड वेअर टू सिलेक्ट प्लस फायू वोल्ड ॲज अ वी इनपुट शॉर्ट द जम्पर लिंक फोर टू फायू अँड देन सिलेक्ट कॅपॅसिटर सी वन बाय शॉर्टिंग जम्पर लिंक वन टू टू ओके वी हॅव टू थ्री स्टेप्स इयर वी हॅव टू सिलेक्ट वी इनपुट दॅन वी हॅव टू शॉर्ट लिंक नंबर फोर टू फायू अँड देन वी हॅव टू सिलेक्ट कॅपॅसिटर सी वन ओके नाव इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप थर्ड स्टेप adjust one volt at the v input terminal by adjusting v input adjust port p1 so what we have to do here we have to adjust one volt at v input terminal by adjusting v input adjustment port so there is one adjustment port is provided by which using we can go change different voltages okay so next step fourth number step connect jumper link 7 to 8 between input terminals now we have to connect jumper link 7 to 8 and observe the output data bits and then we have to observe the data bits next five number vary the input voltage and observe the effect on output data bits now we have to vary the input voltages and observe the effect on output data bits and note down the reading in the observation table and like this we have to note down the readings in observation table okay now this is the diagram of analog to digital converter So in this diagram now you see what is shown here so here two inputs are there here it is plus 5 volt and plus 2 volt so by connecting the links we can get particular input voltage so we can connect like this so we'll get plus 5 volt okay then we have to connect this jumper link okay we can connect jumper link and we have to select c1 capacitor 1 so we can connect by this like this we'll get c1 okay and here this is analog to digital converter so now you can see there are eight bits are provided so these are output line output line so these are eight in outputs so out, outputs are named as d7 d7 d6 d5 d4 d3 d2 d1 d0 so, so like these names are given to the output side okay so now here what we have to do here v input is provided v input adjust p1 so here we can adjust v input by rotating that knob so we'll get different values of p1 sorry we will get different values of v input and for the same input we'll get different type of output over here so now here on output side the led bulbs are shown led lights are shown so for different input different led lights gets open okay so if led light is on out of this if led light is on then its its meaning is its value is 1 okay and if led light is off then its value is 0 so now right now all the led lights are off that's why reading is 
everywhere it is 0 0 we can assume output is 0 0 0 if any one light gets on at the time it will be 1 ok this you understand now now here you see now so here what we have done we have done the connections ok so we have connected the cords over here so we have connected over here 5 volt then we have connected this jumper link and we have connected capacitor ok and supply is also on now what we have to do we have to select proper voltage by adjusting p1 knob so here it is p1 knob we input is adjust p1 so by rotating this p1 we can get proper voltage input voltage and for this we get conversion so lights are on here you can see so these are lights are on so from top two lights are off so these are zero zero okay and below that number is one 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 so if light is on its value is one if light is off its value is zero so like this the input voltage is converted into digital word okay so analog input is converted into digital output okay so by adjusting this knob p1 by adjusting knob p1 we will get different voltages voltage can be measured here at this point here this is v input so at this v input you can measure different voltages and you, you can get here output okay so like this working you have to do for analog to digital converter so v input also calculated with the help of this formula v reference divided by 256 into z okay so where v input is equal to analog input voltage so here v input is analog input voltage z is decimal equivalent of output data what is z z is decimal equivalent of output data and what is v reference v reference is reference voltage v reference is reference voltage so reference voltage we have selected here 5 volts okay decimal equivalent data is 8 volts or suppose 8 and analog input voltage we will get analog input voltage like this so like this we can calculate the v input voltage okay so observation table is something like this so first column is input voltage okay so this is input voltage that we are giving 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt okay and for this we have to calculate observed data bits so this is our second column observed data bits so we should get something like this answer like 1111000 for different inputs for different inputs we will get different 1 and zeros like this we can convert analog signal into digital signal so what is conclusion from this so from observation table it is found that the input voltage produces equivalent digital output so from this we will understand that whatever input voltage is given it produces equivalent digital output so we will get equivalent digital output ok so thank you so much all of you for watching this video in this video we can understood how we can convert analog signal into digital signal ok so thank you so much all of you